Rainbow Warrior here, and today I'm going to show you how to make these really pretty lacy leg warmers. This pattern is really simple and it can easily be made into boot toppers or boot cuffs as well. So I'm going to show you what you need and let's get started. I'm going to need knitting needles. I'm using circular but straight works as well. I'm using size 8. Scissors and a tapestry needle to cut and sew your ends in. A stitch marker to keep track if you're using circular needles. Alright, so I'm using loops and threads, impeccable yarn in this color. And we're going to begin with a long tail cast on. This is important because it's a stretchy method of casting on and it will allow us to stretch over our legs. And I'm casting on 40 stitches for my pattern. So I measured out a long tail, I'm holding that on my needles, and I'm going to begin casting on. And I don't want to pull too tight, you want to leave it really loose, you want to leave a gap in your work. Have that same loose tension throughout your cast on, that way your stitches are nice and loose, again, for your project. So here you can see I'm picking up both strands and I'm looping under the one by my thumb and then the one by my index finger. Alright, so I'm casting on 40 stitches. If you need to know how many stitches you need to cast on, be sure to check out the link to my pattern below for measurement information. Alright, once you finish casting on, be sure your stitches fit nicely around your needles if you're using circular needles. And we can place our stitch marker and we're going to join the round. Simply by starting our pattern, we're going to knit one, purl one, for a one by one rib. So here I'm knitting one, an option as well to knit with your tail to help block that in. And now we're purling one. And we're doing this all the way around. And I'm doing this for six rounds. This ribbing, of course, there's lots of different things you can do here. You can do a 2x2 two two rib or any other type of rib you would want. And of course, it's up to you how long you make your rib as well. Here you can see I have my six rounds of my 1x1 one one rib completed. And now I'm going to begin my pattern. And this is called a horseshoe lace pattern. It's made up of eight rows or rounds. For round one we're going to yarn over, so move the string to the opposite side of our needle, and we're going to knit three. So we're knitting one, knitting two, knitting three. Alright, and now we're slipping two together. So our next two stitches we're going to slip together, meaning enter them both knitwise as if you're going to knit two together, but then you're just going to slide them off the needle onto your other needle because you're slipping. Now you're going to knit one, and then you're going to pass the slip stitch over your knit one stitch. So those two that you slipped, you're going to take your needle and gently tug them over your, that knit one stitch, just like so. And it's nice and hidden You'll see as you do the pattern what that will look like. And now we're going to knit three, knitting one, knitting two, and knitting three, and yarning over. So again, moving our yarn as if we were to purl, and then knitting one. And now we're going to repeat our pattern all the way around until we reach the end of our round ones. And for all even rows, we will be knitting. So when you get to a yarn over, you're just simply knitting it. It's going to be a little different from knitting a normal knit stitch, but you're still going to knit it all the same. And the yarn overs is what makes your lace your hole in your work. And if you are working on straight needles, for all even rows, you're going to be on the opposite side or the wrong side. So rather than knitting, you're going to purl all even rows. As well, if you're working on straight needles, hopefully you know to add a border stitch 
as well to your work so that you can seam it up nicely at the end. And I'm not going to show it, but you are going to be knitting all even rows. So rounds 2, 4, 6, and 8 will be knitted. Alright, here we are at round 3. Here you can see our first lace there. We're going to knit 1, yarn over, knit 2. Knitting 1 and knitting 2. Now we're going to slip the next two together, entering them knitwise, sliding them off the needle, knitting the next stitch, and passing those slip stitches over. Alright, now we're knitting two, one, and two, yarning over, knitting two. One and two. And we're repeating this pattern all the way around. Row five, knitting two, one and two, yarning over, knitting one, slipping the next two together. knitting one, passing the slip stitches over, inserting our needle there, and gently tugging them over and off, knit one, yarn over and knit three. So knitting one, knitting two, knitting three. And repeating this pattern all the way around. Round seven, we're knitting three. One, two, and three. Yarning over. And now we're going to slip the next two stitches. Knit the next stitch. and pass the slip stitches over our knit stitch. Yarning over and knitting four. One, two, three, and four. And repeating this all the way around. And rounds one through eight make up our horseshoe lace pattern you are going to repeat these rounds for your necessary length. If you're making boot cuffs or boot toppers, three or four times would probably make a nice size length. However, I repeated my pattern eight times to make my leg warmers. And here you can see what it looks like. I really am happy with this design. And it's time to do a ribbing on the top to match our ribbing on the bottom. So I'm going to begin my one by one rib, knitting one, purling one, all the way around, and I'm doing this for another six rounds. The last step of our leg warmers is to bind off and we're going to do a stretchy bind off. We're going to do this by knitting two stitches through the back loops, knitting them together, and then sliding that stitch right back onto your left needle. And repeating, so knitting those two together through the back, and slipping the stitch back onto the left needle. And you want to do this fairly loosely. You don't want to do it too tight or else it won't be able to fit over your leg. So just make sure you have a nice loose tension for these steps. And you're going to do this all the way around until you get to your last loop. And then you're simply going to cut your yarn and fasten in your ends.
Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope that you enjoyed this pattern. Please be sure to give a thumbs up if you did. And as well, don't forget to check out the written pattern. The link will be down below in the description, and this will help you make any adjustments if you're using different materials or making a different size than me. So thank you again for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.